Good morning. I have a confession to make. I don't like cooking. I think it's boring. It's tedious. It's a hobby for poor people. It's one of those things where you think you're saving money. It's like one of those poor people traps. Now, there's a difference between being broke and being poor. Like, being broke... <laughs> being broke... Oh, God, being broke is so fun. Like, you get your paycheck and it's like, oh, wait, where do I want to go? But you're still, like, going through life. Well, being poor is just a state of mind. Trust and believe, girl, I've been homeless, like... I know. Okay, question of the day. How many times do you use your kitchen? I mean, I only have my own ensuite now because, like, look at this palace that I'm creating. But every room that you have in your home, your flat, your apartment, which is not being utilised, is wasting money. How much electricity are you wasting keeping that fridge and freezer running? See the whales! Okay, babe. I'd rather go to a place or order from a restaurant that knows portion sizes, that knows nutrition, that knows spices, that knows flavour. How often do you clean your kitchen? Restaurants have to be clean by law. They have so many rules and regulations which they have to, have to work by. Do you temperature check all your meat before you consume it? Okay, let me give you a for instance. You're going to source the ingredients from Lord knows where. Store it in your fridge, your freezer, your pantry, your cupboards for an undisclosed amount of time. Trust yourself into believing that you can cook. Even if it's burnt, or if it doesn't taste nice, or if you get food poisoning, Lord forbid, Ugh, oh, I can't even imagine. Now, cooking and making new things can be really fun, definitely. But for me, I just don't see how it can be a way of life. If you factor in all that sourcing of the ingredients, the act of cooking, labour costs, the decor of the restaurant, even the plates and the cutlery, people who really dedicate their lives to cuisine in all of its forms. I've been to Spain, I've been to India, I've been to China, I've been to Brazil, all through my palate. But cooking, why stop there? Why not have a garden? Why not have a farm? Why not buy a cow or a goat or a... <laughs> whatever to milk? <laughs> also, in these times, I actually value the economy. Like, for me, I like that I can gain wealth and then use that wealth to then encourage other businesses to employ staff, to create careers, to really bring life to the community. The community, God, does that sound so obscure, right? But you know, like, new restaurants and new cafes and everything are being popped up all the time, so why would you not want to encourage new businesses? It seems like everyone wants to make their own business, but no one wants to actually in encourage the growth of others, which, which, that's your problem, but, you know? And cooking pasta and poaching eggs are art forms which I want to leave to the professionals. Now, if you have a family, perhaps it's a different situation altogether, but if you're single, or if it's just the two of you, I don't understand why you'd want to cook. Like, if you factor in everything, like, it's it's cheaper, a better experience, and better for the environment for you to go to, to restaurants. Also, I've worked in so many restaurants as a waiter and as a bartender and all that stuff, and, like, people are very much dedicated to their craft, and you should allow them the opportunity to be proud of themselves. So yeah, that's why I love going to restaurants. I was this close to buying a deep fat fryer, but I'm like, nah. <laughs> and I was this close to getting like, uh, uh, what do you call that? Like a, a, a row of salmon <laughs> for sashimi, but I'm like, girl, this, this, ayo. Like, yeah. It's worth thinking that if your fridge is not full consistently, then it's actually wasting money and electricity. But then, like, it's just... It's weird. Like, it keeps you poor. Like, you know, it's a trap. Like, I realise I realize the kind of person I am. I'm not here to, like, be an authority on, like, too much of anything. I'm here just to, like, you know, just, like... Oh, have you thought about this? And then just, like... Go up into, like, Fairyland. And free refills, like... <laughs> Anyway, that's it for me, because, like, I'm going out <laughs> to a corner restaurant. You might see it on my daily motion, but not everyone wants to be on the internet like that, so, yeah. Bye! Let me know what your favourite cuisine is in the comments below. Okay, bye. <laughs>